Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I want to talk about at games a little more because some crazy interesting news has come to light. A couple viewers of mine had brought this to my attention and I actually dug deeper and found even more information that seems really fishy to me. So that's what I want to look at today but before we really dig into this new information, this just weirdness that I've discovered, I just want to say uh, I'm done with that games. I'm not going to buy their pro products any longer. I know they have these crazy partnerships coming up with uh, the Tetris company, Capcom doing some arcade stuff, trying to jump into that, that one-up arcade type thing, doing arcade machines. I don't care. Um, I'm just, I just can't support a company who has behaved the way they have, the way they've treated the consumer, the way it's just like, well, too bad, you know, this is what it is, deal with it. If you don't like it, return the product. Those are the tweets that they've, they've tweeted the people. Those are the responses that they've given the people. Hey, if you don't like it, return it. Too bad. And I've even seen one where they, they pretty much said, hey, you know, a ca this is meant for a casual audience, this casual consumer. And the people who we target, they don't care what kind of games are on there. They don't care if it's the arcade or home versions. And, you know, while they may be true with that, it still doesn't make it right to lie and deceive the community with the ways they've gone about it. Now, I know certain things have been addressed that, you know, John Hancock, for example, received the same unit that I had, essentially, and he was able to take a look and see what kind of quality there was. And he didn't like what he saw versus what he originally had reviewed, which is what got a lot of us interested. Which what got me interested to review the product for the channel to share with you guys. Because initially my thought was, you know what, for a $20 device with a handful of arcade games, actual arcade games that look to play fairly decently well... That's kind of a neat little product, and I could see this thing go doing very well for the holiday season. But obviously that's not what we received, and there's been a lot of backpedaling and excuses going on and about on how this came to be and why this was what it was. And now they're really trying to dig themselves out. They're looking to the community to help them get their image back out there, because this kind of stuff spreads like wildfire. And it definitely has as of late. A lot of people are talking about this. There's been a lot of mentions of this and, you know, gaming news outlets, other YouTube channels, and just a lot of people talking. And you just don't mess with the gaming community. Sure, your products are typically geared toward that impulse buy, that casual market, that mom saying, you know what, look at this little $20 device with Pac-Man on it. I'm going to buy this for little Timmy. He'll have some fun playing Pac-Man. It's a nice little stocking stuffer and it only cost me 20 bucks. Or all those parents who are going to be like, oh crap, we got to go to you know, my niece's birthday party. We didn't buy him a gift. Oh crap, this is only 20 bucks and it's a video game? Kids love video games. I'm going to buy this for them. And nobody would be the wiser. Nobody would know. Nobody would care. But... That's just not the way it went, because a lot of us do have interest in these kind of products. A lot of us collect these kind of things. A lot of us like to share these with our friends and families. Sure, we have a lot of better ways to play these things, but to have officially licensed products is pretty cool for a lot of people. Don't get me wrong. And just the way this, this came to be, your initial review unit with the arcade version was reviewed you know, mid to, to late September on, on YouTube. And then a few weeks later, it was available to the public. Now, that just seemed odd to me because the supply chain, the manufacturing process, doesn't take just a matter of a couple weeks to be produced in China, to be packaged up, to be shipped over on a container, to be shipped to different distribution centers. That's not the way this kind of stuff typically works. It doesn't happen that quick, you know. So it seems like they they had to have. This is just speculation on my part. I can't prove this, this aspect of it. But for that short time frame, how did this product change so drastically? How was there this supposed last minute change? And if by chance, by some crazy miracle, 
by the time that John received his review unit with the pretty cool arcade versions on it, between that and three weeks later, when did you know? <laughs> when did you know if by that miraculous last minute change it should have been communicated, but it wasn't? It's only been communicated now because the shit has hit the fan for these guys, and a lot of people are pissed. A lot of people who weren't going to buy the product anyway are pissed. A lot of people who have bought the product are pissed. And I don't blame anybody for being annoyed by this because it's just taking advantage of the consumer and going about things the wrong way. So this leads me to this little bit of new information. Now, a few viewers had pointed out, hey, there's a couple reviews on Walmart.com that seem a little suspicious. And when you look at them, they do seem suspicious. But one user in particular really looks suspicious when you dig into their username and you see all the products that they reviewed in the past. And this is what I want to take a look at right now. So before we continue, guys, I do want to point out one thing that seems like they're taking a step in the right direction here. If you go to the At Games website and you look up the blast units for the Bandai Namco flashback, both the Walmart and the non-exclusive, they have the home version screenshots on here now. What? They don't have the superior, awesome arcade versions on here. They have these. These are definitely more representative of what's actually on these units, but is this going to be reflected on the box art that's in the stores? Are you going to recall them? Are you going to reprint them? What are you doing? I mean, I could still knock you a little bit because looking at this Pac-Mania, I don't see the screen tearing going on here because that game looked like ass with all that screen tearing. But hey, at least it's definitely more representative of what's on the product. But what I wanted to take a look at is something that a few of my viewers had mentioned and brought up to me, but I dug into it a little deeper and found out some very interesting details. So if you go to walmart.com, which is the only place, the only legit retailer you could find these products on online, uh, you could search for them. You're only going to find them on eBay or Walmart, which leads me to believe Walmart's the only like official retailers selling these at this time because I haven't seen them available anywhere else. But it was pointed out to me these early reviews on here. Uh, these two in particular, I'm not going to focus on this Swoort, whatever the heck its name is, but they essentially say, you know, some similar things. I'm going to focus on this J Winner 345 dude. I don't know if it's a dude or a girl. I don't, I don't care. But let's take a look at their review because there's something very suspicious in this, which you may have already been aware of or could see it right now, but this leads into something even more deeper concerning this individual and a controversy as far as fake reviews, paid reviews. So taking a look, retro gaming in a small nice package, five stars, 100%. If you're looking for an easy way to show the kids or anyone what you played in college, this is the best buy you can make. Setup was incredibly easy. Just plugged in the HDMI, popped in some batteries into the controller, and I was playing Pac-Man like back in the day. He forgets to mention that you have to plug in that USB into your TV or find some other kind of external power source because it's not powered by the HDMI, fella. Leads me to believe you never actually played this thing, dude. But he goes on to say, I remember played a lot with my brother, constantly trying to one-up each other. Very little input lag, and this was a solid port of a classic game. It only has one game on it? Are you sure you played this thing? I would recommend getting some rechargeable batteries, though, since if you're like me, you'll be stuck in the couch in front of the TV for hours and hours. Oh, by getting this convenient box? It's not even a box, unless you're just talking about the box it comes in. It's a dongle, dude. Did you even play this thing? You save a lot of space from bulky consoles, and you save a lot of money sign, money sign, money sign. Here's the interesting part, guys, and this you know goes down a little deeper into the rabbit hole. Even though I am writing this review as part of a contest, I can easily recommend this to anyone looking for a cheap but solid way to turn your TV into an old-school arcade machine. Signed, Jay Wiener 
three, four, five. September 11, 2018. Really? Well before the product was available. Well before anybody was reviewing any early pre-production review units on YouTube that don't actually exist. Interesting, right? This person says the same thing that they're, you know, they're writing this review as part of a contest. Both around the same time, September 14th, September 11th. First reviews weren't coming out until about a week later on YouTube. Hmm. So I dug into this a little bit. I wanted to find out about this J Winner 345 fella. Well, he's reviewed a lot of things, and I've pulled up a handful of them. Nice little sample of what he's doing. Look at this. Instapot Pioneer Woman. Ooh. Great. You get the Instapot some stuff at home. I don't care about this product, but let's take a look at Jay Winner's review. I don't really care about this thing. He, he or she makes marinated chicken drumsticks overnight. And soy sauce, g- garlic, and ginger. Throws those into the Instapot with some onions, potatoes, carrots, and a little bit of broth. Makes an extremely delicious dinner. Sweet. Who cares? This is the interesting part. While I am writing this review as part of a contest, I can wholeheartedly recommend an Instapot for anyone looking to make delicious, wholesome meals on the cheap and quickly. What? What? Okay. Posted September 12th, a day after he posted his Bandai Namco flashback blast. Hmm. Oh, another another Ask Games... Atari, at Games Atari Flashback Blast Review. Interesting. These weren't available until early October, but this guy, he's reviewing them. You know, he's not reviewing them in video form. He's reviewing them for contests. Jay Winner again, September 12th. This is the best bang for your buck. Another five-star review. Big value in a small package. Turning your TV into an old-school machine. I had a lot of fun playing some throwback games on a modern TV. Blah, 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 with 20 built-in games. Hey, at least, you know, you're saying there's more than just one game on this one. Pretty easy to change the pace, and I'm sure anyone of all ages will find something they like. Even though I'm writing this review, uh uh-oh, here comes the interesting part. As part of a contest, I can honestly say that this is a great buy for anyone looking to do some nostalgic gaming on a budget. What? Oh, Arcade 1-Up, you're getting in on the action too? What? The Walmart exclusive Galaga. Hey, we got Jay Winner over here on September 11th. This guy's got some money to spend buying crock pots, flashback consoles, stand up arcade machines. He's buying all sorts of stuff. No, he's not. This dude did not play with these things. Come on now. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but you see, I have the, the, the interesting part highlighted. Even though I'm writing this as part of a review, I'd recommend this machine on anyone's behalf. It's a great nostalgia trip. Is if a great nostalgia trip is what they're looking for, September 11th, J Winner. Really? So do you guys know what this is? This is review marketing. Now, I'm suspicious of some things. I can't outright say that At Games is paying people to post reviews. But what I can say is that I'm suspicious of that there are companies out there that do review marketing. And they do it in a fraudulent way. They offer cash prizes, cash payments, the possibility of winning contests. Like this guy seems like he's really deep into it. He wants to win that crock pot, that Instapot woman. He wants to win these things. So he's entered. I don't know if those are the products they could win, but they're entering into these contests by posting false reviews. Posting reviews on products that haven't even been released yet, that haven't even been into influencers' hands on YouTube. This J Winner guy is just trying to make a buck or possibly win some cool stuff. His reviews are not written in a way that I think is what a normal consumer would write. These are professional reviews. These are reviews that are choreographed by someone. Being like, hey, you need to hit these points. This is the way to write a proper review. You know, uh, have some past experience, explain the product a little bit, explain how easy it was to use say how you liked it, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, they're guided, they're guided reviews, and this dude knows what he is doing, he or she is doing, my bad, don't want to offend anyone, so that's what these are, these are paid or, they're paid reviews, but they are, they could also not be paid, they could just be like this guy saying, I'm writing this for a contest, for the chance to possibly win something, 
this is widely known out there that companies do these kind of things. Posting reviews, it, it's, it means a ton when it comes to marketing of new products, especially stuff like this that people may buy online. What do you do when you go to Amazon and you look for a product? The first thing you do is you look at the reviews. You want to see those star ratings. These people are giving these products five-star ratings, and they never even used them or seen them before other than the pictures online, and they're just this making assumptions on what they are or they're being guided as to what to say. I, I wholeheartedly believe that, and I'm writing this in the chance of winning a contest, guys. This is what I believe. That's what these are. These are fake reviews for contest prizes, and the reason this is done is because there are statistics to prove if you have those 100%, you have those five-star reviews early on around release of a product and they're predominantly displayed on the review pages that your sales increase on the initial release. So did At Games orchestrate this? I don't think so, but I do believe they possibly are going through a third-party company that does review marketing for all these companies for some kind of flat fee to either cover you know, to make a profit and to cover the possibility of prizes going to people or some kind of cash payments. I've seen this before. I know several companies you can sign up to do things like this. And it's wrong. But it's just, you know, it how it's how it is. Posting reviews online aren't necessarily illegal. You post a review for whatever you want. Walmart doesn't have any kind of discretionary thing where you can only review it if you purchased it. You could still review a product if you didn't purchase it on most of these companies' websites. And that's how review marketing is taken advantage of and being used to deceive consumers. So I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you guys. I think it's interesting. I think it's awful. I think it's a bunch of crap that these companies will go about doing these things to have these fake reviews posted for contest prizes. J winner, I hope you got something. I hope you are a J winner. I hope you didn't get this this Bandai Namco flashback blast, that's for sure. So really do appreciate you guys stopping and spending these few moments of your time with me. Smash that like button, slap it around a little bit. Make sweet, sweet-ass love to that notification bell so you can know every time I upload a video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. What are you waiting for, right? With that said, guys, thank you. Appreciate it. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye-bye and bye.